Hey, what's up guys? It's me, your boy GP, and I'm back again with another Minecraft video. So, starting off, from last video, we made uh, a villager trading hall. While this isn't going to be the best one, and we're obviously going to do it better, because you know how we do it. Uh, we've started the bases. We now have mending. Right here, mending. And so, before we start anything else, let's go deck out my netherite with some mending. Not mending. Let's go deck out my netherite with some mending. All right, now that everything's enchanted, let's put these on. We have mending on everything now, and now we can start off with what I want to do in this video. So in this video, guys, I want to make an iron farm. And we've actually set ourselves up very, very well for this. Hey, 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 guys, before we start this video, I just want to point out that only 95.3% of you guys that are watching are not subscribed. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button, it would mean the most to me, as I am trying to hit 100 subs by the end of October. Um, it would really mean a lot and I'd, I'll keep on making more and more videos. Please, please, please let me know down below what you guys want next. Also, quick note in this video, I didn't say it, but when you're building this farm, it needs to be a hundred blocks from the nearest village. The village, it doesn't have to be, the, it, even from your breeding pen or trading hall, it has to be a hundred blocks minimum. I didn't say that in the video, I said it a little later on. Just a little note. I also wanted to give a big massive shout out to those that commented. Uh, cause a lot of you guys didn't watch the last video and it was not right. So here it goes. So I would like to give a shout out to Solar Flare, Jack Rudd and Sherp. You guys commented on the last video and it really meant a lot, especially you Solar Flare, your words, uh, made me want to create more. And uh, sadly the last video where I did shout you out, uh, it didn't get enough recognition and I wanted to show you that support that I am listening. I'm reading to your, reading your guys comments and it really does mean a lot with the support that you guys are giving me and yeah without further ado i'll let you guys enjoy this video please subscribe like i said row 200 and yeah without further ado here you guys go because if you guys look if you guys watched last video you guys would know that we made a whole breeding pen and uh, if you guys want to know how it's pretty simple just watch the last video i'll uh, just watch the first 10 minutes i think and it should tell you everything but let's go down there and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so if you guys watched last video I made this whole little rail card from the uh, village that we saw and this is uh, where they're breeding now so I'm gonna breed up a couple more and we're gonna take them into the iron farm for what we need so a lot has actually been done since the last time you guys watched so here I made this little walkway to our farm area all of our automated farms are gonna be in this general area so what I want to do is build in this area right here right beside the pigment farm so guys what you guys need for this build is four hoppers but you guys can do this with one two chests nine jungle signs six pieces of glass one lava bucket two water buckets 20 fletching tables four torches 20 beds six of whatever building uh buildable bricks that you guys want i chose three stone bricks and three stacks of deep sleep bricks along with a stack of jungle leaves and 24 along with a dispenser and a single button now, the reason why you guys want to use a fletching table is because through rain or shine, the fletching table, they will always work. Any other one, they don't work during raining and it's, it's a little iffy. And so yeah, without further ado, let's start building. So what you guys want to first start off with is find the spot that you guys want to uh, have the chest area. For me, it's going to be this. So I'm going to build one out and then build four up. So one, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to build 13 out that way, 13, and now 13 again this way. Now what you guys want to do is just fill in this entire outline. Now that you guys have filled it in, you guys can now build up on any, starting at any side, just build a two block wall around. Once that is done guys, what you guys want to do is just put some leaves up top here. The reason why you guys want to do this is because it stops the iron 
uh, golems from spawning up top here. Now for me, I'm using jungle leaves. It does not matter what type of leaves you guys use. Now that that is done, we can move on to the next step. So on this corner for me, because I want the iron golems to fall down here. I'm going to build just on this one wall, one row of blocks. Then again, on this one, I'm going to I'm going to build three blocks. Now what you guys want to do is just put down your two water buckets like this. And what that'll do is create an infinite source. Just going to do like this. All right. Now that you guys have filled that up, what you guys want to do is on this side, do the exact same thing. And now guys, as you guys see, if I stand in any part of this area, for example, right here, I'll slowly be pushed into this nine by nine area right here. Just like that. And now what you guys want to do is break this nine by nine area. Now, after you guys have break, uh, broke this little area, what you guys want to do is just build three blocks down. So I'm just going to continue with my order. And we are now three blocks down. And you just want to cover this entire thing in. Actually, guys, before you guys put down this last set right here, what you want to do is just build this one and then right beside it, put down a double chest and then fill this in with glass and now you can continue with blocking this entire thing up now the next thing you want to do is actually block off this entire lower area and now what you guys want to do right here is just build this in now in here you want to put down your hoppers now for me i like putting two here and then another two right here just so that it doesn't get backed up so like that and like that now in here what you guys want to do is put down nine signs now in this corner right here put down some water and now just find your way back to the top once you made it to the top what you guys want to do is on this middle block place on your lava bucket and it should fill up the, the whole thing so that when they come down they will burn and uh yeah, you don't have to kill him. On this corner block right here, opposite of where the chest is, and you want to move one this way, place a block down, and then on this second block, you want to place down a third, uh, your last block. So it's three blocks out, and then you can delete these two later. And now what you guys just want to do is build four blocks out. And the reason why I'm changing the color of the blocks is just so you guys know what we have to break. Right now, think of any stone brick that I place as something that we will be breaking. So you will have four of these little slots and everything in the middle of these can just break. Now, what you want to do is just build up just like so. With this block right here being a... Uh, glass block you can just build around until it's all complete just like this and you want to do that around every single gray block so once it's done this is what every block should look like from the top view now what you guys want to do is from here you want to go two to the left and then four blocks down so one two three four right here so guys, once you've built four blocks away, you want to build four up. With this deep state block being my fourth block, I'm just going to build two out like this. I mean one out. And now you're going to build seven out this way. So. Seven. And now you just want to build in here again. In the middle right here, what you guys want to do is build out four. So just like this. And you want to do that twice. Now what you guys want to do is just build out 
and you just want to copy what you did here back over here just like this this is where your beds are gonna be now that this is done we can actually move uh, into building uh, where now that this is done you guys have done all the grunt work we can now move on to the next part which is putting the villagers into these things here so for each one of these you guys want to put in five villagers so in each little box there should be five of them so five there here here and there now you have to make sure guys that the villager that you guys are putting in does not wear a green shirt the green shirts cannot take on any jobs and thus this this farm will not work so guys if you guys watched my last video you guys know that i have a breeding farm and so that's where i'm gonna go so guys if you guys saw my last video guys if you guys saw my last video you guys would know about this little breeding pen right here i brought two villagers from the nearby village into here and i bred them and now i have a little trading hall up there the link will be down below in the description if you guys do want to watch that so what i'm gonna do is breed up 20 villagers and make sure they're fully grown and then we're gonna make a path to the iron farm and we'll trans start transporting them all right guys so i've built up here and one thing i had to do to make sure uh that when the rail car came in here they wouldn't fly off is just build one up that's all you guys need to do that's what i did here built one up and i have these gaps here because i'm just gonna reuse this one line and so now i'm gonna put down some powered rails and some rails i'll make some more if i need to and uh let's start getting these villages here all right guys i've laid down the tracks now let's get these guys going so i just need to face that down and i think he's gone and now let's do that a couple more times just gonna get pushed just because the amount of people that have in there i think and our last villager and I'm just gonna follow these guys here because they do seem to get stuck just a little bit. So we'll push these guys through. Ah, oh, maybe I should have put some accelerated rails there. You know, I'll let these guys sit here and I'll sort these guys out one by one. So as you can see, we have that one guy here and then we have these four just waiting to go up uh, i did not mean to but i guess we're pushing that guy up too now and this leads me to the next part so normally other youtubers would be telling you to just place down all the box you guys can at once but this can cause some errors so you want these villagers to link to a bed and to a workstation and to do this you need to link them individually you can't link them all at once as it's very very hard also guys to get rid of them on the rail tracks just hit them like that and then you can place the block down and you'll be good I'll just leave this here for now because there's probably gonna be more that come down and yeah so let's tell you where to place these items so what you guys want to do on top of here, you guys just want to place down your bed. So right now I have two villagers in there, so I should be waiting for two green marks. So just like this. If I wait, there we go, we have one connected. And now this guy. We have another connection, just like that. And now what you guys want to do is, we know that the villagers are going to be in here. So we're going to link the workstation just to make sure we'll have green particles here and now if we break this we should see a disgruntled person or maybe it's one of them but at the end of the day you guys know what I mean and so I'm gonna get all these guys in here and then we'll link up to some beds and uh, we'll show you how to do the rest of this so we'll break this last minecart we have five people in there now and then we'll put out five beds we already have two and you can see they're already spawning cats. There we go. All five are linked now. Now guys, what you guys want to do is place down four blocks, five blocks of Fletcher's table just by removing one by one. So like that. It should link. There we go. 
and we'll just complete this process. We now have five blocks and now we have five Fletchers. And now we just want to repeat this for every single one. Remember guys, you just want to follow the exact placement that I'm doing with these beds as well. So facing this way and this way. In the middle, they're going to be facing inwards. But enough of that, let's get the rest of these villages in. Also guys, once each block is done, place a block on top of them and you can now get rid of these blocks here. So guys, now with all the beds placed and all the fletching tables on, you can, if you guys heard that, iron golems are starting to spawn. So we'll wait right here. You guys will see another iron golem spawn and you'll see uh, it work right there. And just like that, the iron golem's dead and we probably collected some iron. And so now what we need to do is behind all these blocks, inside this little capsule, we need to add some water on the bottom floor. So these guys are always moving and therefore are always in a state of threat. So guys, the next part is to make these guys float. And the way to do this is you want to build exactly like I did. Right here, put down two blocks underneath this last block here and a block right behind it with the button on there. Then you want to break this block and then facing this way, dispenser goes this way. You put your water bucket in and you can hear the water in there. There should be no water in the bucket left. You can destroy this, but watch out right when you do it, the water is going to come and you can just block it off. Now you want to rinse and repeat for the rest of these and you should be done. And now that you guys have water in it, you'll see these guys just bobbing. And also quick note, I've got to say this in the beginning, I'll probably add it in their post, but make sure that where you're building this is at least 100 blocks away from your nearest villagers. So I did the math and even in my trading hall, I am still 100 blocks away, so I am still good. Just make sure you guys keep that in mind when you guys are doing quick correction guys with the final step is is you want to put the torches here facing directly towards and then on top what you guys want to do is not have any torches up here but you guys want to use those jungle leaves and just build up just like this covering all the blocks so no mobs spawn on top and no uh iron golems spawn on top either and now the absolute last step you guys want to do is just put some jungle leaves on top of all these beds. I'm going to run out, but it's all right. As you guys hear, the iron farm is already working. This is just for precaution. I'm going to quickly go down uh, with the iron farm, actually. As you guys, I'll show you guys how much is made right now. You guys have been here since the start of when it started producing. And it's already made 49 pieces of iron. I only need two quickly make some shears and I'll get the rest of the leaves. So like I said, just covering it all up. And now you guys are done guys. I'll just wait for the rain to clear and uh, I'll do my outro. So guys, that's it for the iron farm. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I will let you guys know how much it produces in the title as I assume you guys have already seen. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this. If you guys do want to watch all my other videos, please do. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me. I did shout out a couple of people who, who have supported me. And if you guys want to be shouted out on the next video, just leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys like about my channel. Without that, without further ado, this has been your boy GP. And we'll watch this last all, uh, Iron Golem go. This has been your boy GP. Take care guys, be safe, peace.